Hey, hey, this is Lady C. I'm going to be breaking it down to you about how you can remove background sound from your video. I just recently had an experience where I was doing an interview, and my the person that I was interviewing lives in Costa Rica, lives out in the jungle, and halfway through our interview, the groundskeeper began raking leaves. And I'm thinking to myself, what is that noise? As she's talking, we got this good conversation going, and this noise is just constant. Finally, she says, oh, that's the groundskeeper. He's raking leaves. And, of course, she can't tell him to go out there and stop doing his job because it's not her personal groundskeeper. He just works in that area, right? So what ended up happening was I told her, I said, I'll tell you what we can do. I said, I can't promise this is going to work, but let's try it anyway. So I said, let's just stop talking for about 10 to 15 seconds. And so then we just got real silent, and we captured that noise print. Okay, so for about 10, 15 seconds, the noise of him raking the leaves is being captured. And so in this upcoming presentation, I'm going to be showing you how I was able to remove that sound of him raking those leaves from our discussion. So come on over to the computer and let's get started. Okay, so notice on the timeline, I'm at the 43 minute and 46 second mark. If I... Hit my play button. You can hear someone raking leaves. That's the noise print that we captured. We were only able to do this because we realized that there was some noise in the background. So by stopping our talking and capturing that noise print, we're able to go in and remove this sound from the video clip. We don't want to affect the entire video, though. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the playhead over to right before the sound starts, and I'm going to press the letter C on my keyboard, which is going to give me my cutting tool, and I'm going to click on that, t- on that um, clip and I'm going to cut it. When I press the letter V on the, on the keyboard, it brings me back to my pointer tool, and I'm just going to just drag this away from the clip just to show you how I did cut that. I don't have to, but I'm just showing you how I, how I cut that because I don't want to make any changes to the part of the video that has no problems. So what I want to do is I only want to work with the one that has the noise. But I also want to call your attention to us talking on the timeline so you can hear this person raking these leaves. No, so uh, my mom came to my place and she made... So you could hear the person raking the leaves as we proceed with our conversation. So the whole goal is to remove this sound from the clip. So what we're going to do is I'm going to use Adobe Audition because I'm using the Creative Cloud to produce my videos. So all I'm going to do is right-click on this clip, and when the pop-up menu comes up, I'm going to choose Edit Clip in Adobe Audition. Okay, so now the clip is loading on the timeline. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the plus sign on my keyboard. And what that just does, it just allows me to zoom in to the area of the screen so that I can go ahead and capture the noise print. And if I hit the play button on my um, computer to play this clip, and I just hit the um, space bar, on the keyboard, or you can hit the play button. The same sound we had before in Adobe Premiere. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight this noise print, or just highlight this wave clip. Then I'm gonna go to the effects menu, come down to noise reduction, restoration, 
come over to Capture Noise Print. And then I get my little message saying that this selection is going to be captured and loaded into the noise print. And then I'm going to choose OK. So now it's captured that noise print that we're going to tell the computer to go through this whole clip. And we want you to remove this sound from this clip. But what we need to do is we need to select the portion of the clip that we want to remove the sound from. So just simply press Control A or um, Command A on a Mac. And that's the Select All. So now what we're going to do is we're going to choose Effects, come down to Noise Reduction and Restoration, come down to the second option this time, and choose Noise Reduction Process. And so now the screen comes up allowing you to use these, um, these knobs on the screen where you can reduce by a particular uh, um, amount. The, the goal is to stay as far away from 100% as you can. That's the goal. Because the higher you have to go up in the percentage of what you want to remove, the more distorted your clip will sound. Now, when I did this the other day, I had to use about right where I'm at right now, the 89% mark on the noise reduction and the reduced by at about 60. So if you didn't have such a strong sound, you might not need to dial it up so high, but you got to kind of play around with it. And so um, the way you can listen is by coming down to the play button at the bottom left-hand side of the screen. You just click on play. And notice how as the playhead is playing over those wave sounds, you can't hear anything. Okay? So that means that it has removed it from the clip. But the only thing about it is my clip is probably going to be more distorted than I would like it to be. So as you begin to work with this platform, if you can go all the way back to like 50% and then start playing it, I can hear a little bit of it. And see, when you're playing it back, you can actually hear that um, the raking of the leaves. So you got to kind of go up, keep dialing up until you can't hear that. Because I'm going to move this playhead back again. And I'm going to hit the play button. It's at about 70%. We're going to try it at the 70% mark. And then I'm going to bring this one. I'm going to dial this back just a little bit and see what happens. It seems to be working okay. We're going to go ahead and try it with the 70% and the reduce by 30.6. And I'm going to choose apply. So mainly you just got to kind of play with those dials and the numbers and determine how much of the sound you want to remove so that it doesn't distort your actual audio file. Because that's the, the balancing act that you have to do here. Okay, so that seemed to work because notice how these wave uh, patterns are now gone. That means it removed it totally from this clip. So now if I play this clip back, let's see when we're, where, you can, you, where you can actually see the wave file of us talking. Let's see if it actually removed it. No, so uh, my mom came to my place and she made me promise her that I was going to get back to the organization as soon. Okay. So it seems to have worked. So I'm going to go ahead on and I'm going to choose File, Close, to close out of Adobe Audition, and I'm going to choose Yes to save my changes. And then the system is going to apply those changes across the entire track, and it may take a few minutes depending on how large your file is. And once that's done, um, I'm going to go ahead and just exit out of Adobe Audition just by choosing Adobe Audition and quit Audition. And then it's going to bring me right back into my Adobe Premiere project. So now, here we are. 
Back on the timeline. It looks like we removed the sound from the clip. And now I can go ahead and drag those two clips back together again. And we're ready to continue editing. And so I did not mess with the quality of the audio clip that was working fine. But the other audio clip, there could be some distortion. So I'm going to go ahead and play a little bit more of this clip a little bit. It's going to be maybe an inspiration for them to wake up. So that's kind of how I how I word it. But it's, it's just... I think once we're understood. This has been Lady C. I thank you for being in my audience and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.